what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hi, and welcome to Poly Talk. My name is Brendan Demore, and I'm here at the Kellogg House at Cal Poly Pomona. Come join me on a tour. The Kellogg House was built in 1926 and designed by architect Myron Hunt, who also worked on the Pasadena Rose Bowl and Huntington Library. Almost all of the furniture is original, except a few replicas like this rug. The grand room, which we are in here, was used as a sitting room where guests would sit by the fire and enjoy music. A unique fact about this house is that every ceiling in the home has a different design from the other, making each room unique in many ways. Guests of the house were entertained by music played on this one-of-a-kind organ. Kellogg had the pipes of the organ built into the basement to avoid ruining the aesthetic of the grand room. Kellogg would give his employees one of these dishes instead of stock value in the company. Currently, the Kellogg house has eight of the 12 original dishes. Four of the plates are still missing. Above us, the ceiling has Mr. Kellogg's initials here, William Keith Kellogg, and it's written 12 times. The painting that we have in the house is of the Snow White painting of Snow White and Seven Dwarfs movie, and it's because um, Walt Disney once came in to the, uh, as a guest here at the house, and he asked for inspiration from Mr. Kellogg for a horse for Prince Charming right off with, and it's inspired by Mr. Um, Mr. Kellogg's King John horse. This Snow White painting was gifted to Kellogg by Walt Disney himself. It currently hangs in Kellogg's old study along with a collection of the family's personal belongings. Kellogg was a Seventh-day Adventist and they didn't believe in the idea of remarrying. Because of this, Kellogg had a separate bedroom built for his second wife, Carrie Staines, to ensure that he would go to heaven. This is a picture of Kellogg with his siblings. Kellogg's bedroom still has all of its original bedding and decor. Him and Carrie's bedrooms were connected by a balcony. Current guests who rent the home for events are not allowed to stay the night at the house. They are allowed to stay in a nearby hotel. The outside of the house still has original roses and patio structure, with the exception of the grass that has been changed to turf so it can withstand all weather conditions. The house is open to the public for tours every first Sunday of the month and is also available for private events.